What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to episode 5 of my FIFA 14 Rose Gold Around the World series and welcome to the first episode, we are going to be playing FIFA 14 on the actual Xbox as you can see here we've just gone into um, FIFA Ultimate Team and you know you just do all the basic stuff you always do at the start um, confirming my club name, I thought for some reason I thought it said I had a free pack there and then realised I didn't and um, I realised why it said that uh, but uh, as you can see there, the collect we have some um, sales in my watch list as well. I've got to go and do this a curious answer question, which you'll see me do now. And um, basically, we're all good and done now. So we're just going to quickly quick sell all these silvers play, like I said in the last episode. Just get enough coins, basically 18k now to go and build ourselves um, the N Power League 2. I'm not too sure if it's actually called the N Power anymore. Um, I think they may have um, lost that sponsorship. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Don't, um, if you know, guys, put that in the comments. But, um, uh, we've got to go and build a squad, and uh, I found this play, um, player name search makes things so much easier. Um, I Normally, I would take a quite a long time to actually get the squads. Just type in the name, put in the price, pick them up, done. That's one player gone already. Um, I already knew kind of roughly what players I was going to get. I kind of um, um, had a quick look at some of the players on Foothead, saw the best ones and what players I wanted to put in the squad, and ha hence the reason why I'm finding these players so quick. But um, we picked up that Flinders guy. He used to be a bronze keeper in FIFA 13. Very, very good keeper in FIFA 13. I believe I may... I don't think I actually use him, but... Um, I, I used him not on the Road to Gold Around the World account, but uh, I used him on another account. But um, he was fairly decent, so I decided to pick him up again. And the right back, we've got a player called Talbot. Um, not the fastest right back, but he's an all-well-rounded player. Go and pick up Wilkinson. Luke Wilkinson there. Centre back with 70-odd um, pace again. Very decent. We're going to look for this player here, Christian Pierce. Um, he's a very, very pacey player indeed. I could have maybe picked him up for about 2k maybe. Um, I wasn't... 2.3, sorry. And um, I, I, I didn't want to splash that many coins out on the centre pack because there's other decent similar players. We'll see how this player here... Um, oh no, um, we're just going to look for, sorry, Nathan Smith, the left back. Um, Jamaican, 750 coins. Very, very pacey player. 88 pace. Very nice. And 63 rated. You can't go much else wrong with that. Um, and um, this was kind of where I got stuck. I... Feel, it's good because it's easy to get plays in the sense that there's no more um, formation. So, basically, I didn't even know what formation I was going to use going into this selection of players. I just wanted to get the players I wanted, put them down, get as many as I possibly can, and make the squad out of them. So, I pick up that player, Hines, fairly pacey player, and also Barcham. Used this guy before as well in FIFA 13. Fairly decent card. His pace, I think, has decreased a bit, but... Um, Still, he looks like a fairly decent player. So as you can see, there's the squad we got so far. And the trouble I was having mainly is what most people probably have is um, the centre mids. That's why I left them at the last. We're going to pick up this player here, Christian Jolly. Um, he's got four-star skill with three-star weak foot, 88 pace. Um, probably one of the better silver English strikers out there. And um, I picked him up for 3,500 coins, which was a fairly decent buy. Um, around the 59th minute um, area. So uh, I thought it's going to be a pretty decent buy. So I picked him up for that amount of coins, which is probably... The the most expensive play in this squad and um, I'll, I'll definitely um, say tell you guys if he's worth the coins but uh, we're going to pick up this play here Corfu I do believe or I'm not too sure how you pronounce that um, he uh, I've, I've used him before as well but uh, he, Jolly was like the only real standout striker um, and then the rest were all like 56 rated so I thought I'd just go for this player here he had like decent heading and um, decent pace and uh, so I thought he'd be the best player there go and pick up Carter here he used to be a silver in FIFA 13 um, now plays for Northampton as a centre mid in the bronze and he looked very very well rounded and for 200 coins nothing else could basically go wrong if I didn't like him I'll just send him again and pick up another one and I'm um, also looking for the final player we're going to pick up this player here Schumacher we've still got a centre back to go and pick up but Schumacher here um, 62 rated 61 pace well rounded and play a decent shot as well so um, I'm not too sure on how much pace is crucial in this game but uh, here we are Nathan Cameron the centre back pick him up for I believe 800 coins there um, which is a nice difference because um, our squad has not gone um, like around the 10k mark so um, it, like, I, I hate going below 10k coins I just don't feel comfortable enough um, some well 5k is like if I go anywhere below 5k I've got to stop I've got to Get those coins back up because I just don't feel comfortable and get like mate your team can go into balls up immediately if you need contract cards across the board but um, we pick up the badges and the kits and um, I saw that night kit there the orange one you quickly saw past that south end and I actually play 
in a very similar kit that on my six aside squad I do during the week. And I thought I'd go and pick that up because um, that was fairly nice. And now I forgot that uh, you could pick up two home kits and like you can use two home kits. So I probably would have picked up another away kit because the away kits are normally nice in the home kits. But uh, I decided to just go with traditional times and pick up a home kit and a away kit. And uh, use them. Just have a quick look at the ball in the stadium. See if the ball's okay. Make sure you go and check that, guys, because you do not want to be playing with a black ball. I thought the pink one's going to be all right. So I didn't really think about that too much. And uh, I'm just going to put in some subs here. And I'm always still do this. I don't know why I do this. Um, it's always a thing that you used to do in like FIFA 12 or something. You try and get the lowest bench possible. But I just hate having a the full like, everything below is full. And I hate having, like, if there's a lower rated alternative, I always put them in. I don't know why I do that, um, but I don't think rating, like, takes that much account in anymore. But um, I still do it, and I uh, just have to get on with it. But um, we come up against the first squad here in a 5-3-2 formation. Not the best squad, hasn't got a lot of chemistry and um, some alright players. So um, I basically thought this game was going to be mine. I could easily get it. And being the first game in FIFA 14, it's kind of strange. I was lagging a bit, which wasn't a good way to start the first game either. But um, a shot there from Bartram gets blocked here. Unfortunately, he doesn't clear it. And uh, we fall straight up to Schumacher. And look at that lag there. But it trickles past the keeper. Nice finish there from Schumacher. Getting the first game of our FIFA 14 campaign. And that was basically all the game was. I was absolutely dominating him. I just couldn't score. I didn't have that many opportunities. I had a couple where I just... Um, obviously... It's not, finesse shot works a bit better in this game. Um, as you can see there from the stats, seven shots on target, decent amount of possession. But we got three points, I'm not complaining with a 1-0 lead. So that's the first game in FIFA 14 and a first win, which is pretty nice. Hopefully we can carry that on into the second one and get a nice old start in FIFA 14. Because uh, basically, FIFA 14 is a very strange game. I'll talk more about it in the upcoming episodes and how I feel like it. But I've only played, um, I'm doing this commentary after this gameplay. Normally I get a load out and then do the commentaries, but... Um, it feels kind of strange. It always feels strange going to a new FIFA because it always uh, plays differently. Um, but um, in the games I was playing, especially with these bronze players, there was a lot of um, scrappy play, shall I say. You pass it and it bounces off. And I had a stage for about a minute where we, none of us, both um, players, just couldn't pass it to the players. It was just bouncing off their feet, going to the opposite. He would do the same and getting intercepted. But they're jolly. Nice, nice finish there in the 42nd minute. Quick over-the-top ball. Very, very um, successful way of scoring in these games. Um, but nice over-the-top ball there from, I'm not too sure, I think it was one of the midfielders, into the path of Jolly, which was a very nice goal there from a nice volley. But that is two wins in two games, which is very, very good to the start of FIFA 14. Um, hopefully in the next episodes I'll talk more about um, how I feel about the game. So far I'm just getting used to it. Um, and I need to get used to like the um, chemistry style cards. I'm not too sure how they work. But as you can see there, 100 chemistry. 61 rated squad, got some very, very nice players in. Um, the defence seems fairly solid. I wasn't losing any battles at the back whatsoever. The strike force maybe could be a bit stronger. And um, maybe I'll just swap out the formation a bit more to see if I can get more support up the attack because my defence seems fairly solid. But guys, this has come to the end of the first episode on the FIFA 14 actual game. And um, guys, this is the end of the episode. This has been Crunch. Till next time, adios.